sometimes some people who had given their lives to Christ have been made to think that every storm is over, which is very unfortunate. Storms of life are not over just because you have given your life to Christ. But the truth is that whatever these storms of life may be, you can sail through them with Jesus. Our topic today is overcoming the storms of life. Hallelujah. Jesus got into a boat and the disciples followed him into the boat. The important thing here was is that Jesus was there with them. Just like Jesus is now with you. You will observe in verse 24, suddenly the presence of Jesus, notwithstanding a great tempest arose on the sea, and the boat was covered with the waves. This was recorded for us in the scripture to help us to get balance in our Christian work. There are people who believe that as soon as they give their lives to Jesus, all storms of life are gone. The Bible does not teach that all those storms of life will be gone. There could be storms. The devil could raise storms anytime. The devil could move straining circumstances to raise storms in my life and in your life. These storms could come from any direction. These storms could come from the most unexpected direction and from the most unexpected people. The devil could suddenly turn people against you and raise storms through them. These storms could come at the most unexpected times and these storms could come despite the fact that we are walking with the Lord and enjoying fellowship with Him. It is good for us to understand these things that we be no more children who are tossed to and fro, driven up and down by every wind of doctrine. As the Bible instructed in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14, some people are spreading false wings of doctrine all over the world today. Such people teach with cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. You should not remain in an infant Christian who will keep drinking milk of the word of God every day. Time will come when you have to crack the bones of the Christian faith. For there are bones of this Christian faith. Do you remember at all time that some were crucified, some were thrown to the lions, and some were cut off asunder by swords? Yes, yet some others got saved with God's mighty arm and a stretched hand to leave a lesson for all things that the Lord is our deliverer. The Bible makes a very beautiful statement that Jesus was asleep while the lives of his disciples were in jeopardy. He was asleep. It's like sometimes when you pray and it appears that your prayer is not receiving the answer and you look forward to receiving. Sometimes some people got discouraged and some disappointed and jesus will say to the disciples of john the baptist blessed is he that does not pick offense in me matthew eleven six. why because he will not visit john in prison he will not go send him word of encouragement and will not do anything to show that he was aware that john was even in prison and john said have i made a mistake is he not the savior oh yes he was and is the savior i just want to tell you child of god wherever you may be just trust in the lord just believe in the lord jesus christ will make a way for us in jesus name in the name of jesus christ amen perhaps the most difficult thing to do in life is to thank God in difficult times when the storms of life come pounding down. However, Ephesians 5.20 says, We are to be giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Perhaps the most difficult thing to do in life is to thank God. Keep on thanking God because you don't know what tomorrow might be. 
be. God has a way of protecting us. He has a way of doing things for us. Child of God, wherever you may be, going through storm in your life, going through whatever you don't know, sickness, pain, death of a loved one, just endure it. Have faith in God that he will make everything right in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The events in the book of Acts chapter 26 verse 24 27 or called just after paul has been arrested for the last time he had an opportunity to speak to king Herod or the king about what god has sent him to do but into it that he had a problem always having a problem with everything he wants to do but little of a time god showed up this is how god almighty will show up for you whatever you are going through that storm will be over one day it will be over and you will be there glorifying god thanking him for what he has done in your life and god will never forsake you he will never leave you to suffer god will stop all these problems do not worry yourself child of god jehovah will make a way for you he is there always to guide and make time for god always to pray hand us hand yourself over to god hand over whatever you want in the hand of the lord almighty god will make a way for you and you will rejoice child of god may you be blessed in the land of the living in jesus name amen